noticing those cues, the body language and the, those facial expressions. And when we do hit something, you know, we kind of see a light bulb go off in their head and they're like, wow, she was listening to me earlier. She wasn't just asking me how I was just to ask. She was really taking that in. So we can really facilitate that, those strategies to hit home for them. I have parents that get distracted or if they're really kind of looking elsewhere, that's a good indicator for me that I need to ask a reflective question. I need to make this more meaningful for the family. And I think that also supports the relationship that we're building with the families. Um, the more you refer back to what they've shared with you before shows that you've listened and you cared and then, they're, then it keeps that flow going. I am not challenged by two-dimensional versus three-dimensional I feel like there are lots of cues from people two-dimensionally or three-dimensionally that seem similar to me in how we connect or respond. It's carefully deciding what to do next. Are you gonna decide to say something and self-disclose because you think that this family might be supported by that? Or are you going to decidedly not say anything. And we're always doing that the best that we can, like that careful balance of what do I think you need from me? I'm always deciding when to say something and when to not. Relationships are hard and it's different every day. I've messed up a lot and I've really made some people's day. And then we just keep learning from that. It's tricky. It's not always easy. I worked with a mom who put a lot of pressure on herself to be her daughter's teacher and was very focused on academic skills. And we're coming in telling her, you need to have fun with your daughter and be your daughter's play partner and follow her lead. And if she wants to, you know, throw toys up in the air and watch them fall, do that with her. So this was like a total mind shift for this parent. And I actually, I early on in our work together, I actually spent an entire session with her just talking through making this shift from seeing herself as her daughter's teacher and academic skills to just have fun with her daughter and be her daughter's play partner. And afterwards, I was so thankful that I had done that because I saw the repercussions of that throughout the whole rest of our intervention together. She referred back to that session multiple times. She told me, you know, how helpful it was. So I think back on that a lot. And I think that's a good example of how going off of my agenda and meeting the parent where they're at and talking about what they need in that moment can really be helpful. We do lots of things to be purposeful. And I think that one of those things to be purposeful is you have to really know whatever intervention you're giving. We know the information well enough to go off topic, but bring it back and generalize it in multiple ways into multiple different kinds of families. And I think knowing the job you're there to do really well, that's like the framework of everything, which is why we can run around the house having multiple conversations about other things, it's because we can always bring it back. Mm -hmm.